Ja, what did it mean to you to be back out there with your teammates and also to get the reception that you did from the home crowd? Um, it meant a lot, man. Obviously, you know, um, I'm thankful and, you know, grateful for everybody, you know, who's been supporting me, you know, during this time. Um, it definitely, you know, helped me a lot, you know, definitely made me, you know, feel a little better, um, you know, ease, you know, everything that's going on. Um, felt good to be back, you know, super excited, you know, glad we was able to get the win. J oh, sorry, go ahead. Ja, were you able to? How were you able to keep your emotions in check with everything going on? Uh, you know, just pre-game and when you had that ovation when you checked in for the first time. Um, before the game, you know, I did some meditation. Uh, basically, just ease, you know, the nerves, the you know, emotions, you know, I was feeling. Um, you know, coming back, um, it was a lot, um, but it kind of helped me. And then, you know, once I, you know, got out there on the court. Um, you know, just seeing, you know, how the fans, you know, reacted to me being back. Um, definitely, you know, helped me a lot. Um, you know, made me, you know, feel good um inside and um yeah, man, it was I don't know. I don't know, I can't put it in words. You know, I'm kinda numb, you know, right now, but you know, thankful for everybody. John, when we talked to you yesterday, you said that you had felt uncomfortable Monday, uncomfortable yesterday, um, and that your conditioning was a little off. Did you feel different or better when you woke up this morning just because it was like game day and you, and you knew it was here? Um, obviously, you know, I had the opportunity to, you know, do something I love, um, which I haven't, you know, in a while. Um, so, you know, I was pretty excited to do that. Obviously, you know, excited to come in and, you know, see, you know, um, everybody, you know, this morning. Um, had a time where, you know, I spent time with my family, um, you know, ran around my daughter a little bit before, you know, my nap um, and woke up, you know, pretty much got ready. You know, I took some time before, you know, I, you know, started moving around um, before I left um, to, you know, just reflect on everything and um, just tell myself, you know, what I was feeling at that moment. And then, you know, just continue that process, you know, once I got here. Um, I felt like, you know, when I even if I'm not telling somebody else, um, but telling myself, you know, what I'm feeling at that moment, it, it kind of helped me a lot. So um, something, you know, I did, something that I feel like, you know, helped me. Um, obviously, I said, you know, it's still an ongoing process. So um, continuing to, you know, get back comfortable, um, you know, with everything. But um, thankful for, like I said, the support I had that, you know, helped me, you know, get there quicker. Ja, a lot of your family were wearing sweatshirts that said redemption on it. Um, what did you think of that? And also, are you do you feel like this is a redemption story for you right now? Um, that was my family idea. Um, obviously, you know, it's me coming back, um, you know, after some negative things, you know, have been said, you know, constantly, you know, throughout this whole basically what, year and a half now. Um so um, how I felt, kind of like a redemption. Obviously, you know, it could have been worse. You know, I, I got a second chance, and, you know, I felt like it's only to make it right, you know, show, you know, who Jai is, you know, as a person. Um, and, you know, that's my family message, you know, with the hoodies. So. Joe, why did you suggest to the coaching staff coming off the bench? And, you know, obviously that's something you haven't done in your career. What was it like coming in off the bench for the first time? Um, I suggested it because, you know, how well they've been playing, you know, while I was away. Um, you know, I didn't want to, you know, come, you know, right back and mess any of that chemistry up. Um, obviously, you know, I was, you know, watching film, um, you know, once my time was, you know, getting closer to, you know, being back, um, watching, you know, how they was playing. and. Um, obviously, it's different from watching and actually being out there. So, you know, just getting back into the flow, getting back into the offense, um, and also getting back comfortable um, with everything. Um, like I said before, um, my mental is very important to me, and um, that was, uh, you know, one of the reasons why. Um, ja, just, I guess, simply put, how do you think you played, um, especially, in a, and what was it like? being back in there the last four or five minutes of a close game? Um, I think I played, you know, well. Um, obviously missed some shots, <laughs> um, you know, knocking a little bit of the rust off. But 
overall, you know, I think I played well. Um, obviously, um, I missed some opportunities on the defensive end, um, made some stupid fouls, you know, towards the end. Um, I guess it's just the excitement of being back, you know. <laughs> um, but other than that, you know, I felt like I played a, you know, well-rounded game. Um, I didn't feel no different, um, you know. Obviously, I'm not used to, you know, coming off the bench, but, you know, I felt very fine, you know, with that. Um, once my number was called, I go in and play the same way. Um, so nothing really changed. And, you know, uh, the advantage we have is we really got two starting point guards, you know, on this team. So um, it doesn't matter, you know, who's starting and who's not. Um, we're able to go out and do the same thing. And uh, we had a very balanced attack. Um, and we got, you know, number 13 out there just – being Jaren. <laughs> Joe, you got out there today with this lineup a couple times with you, Dez, Luke, Santi, and Jaren. Four plus shooters on the floor uh, with you. What do you see as the potential of that lineup? And when you're out there with them, does it look different, you know, from a spacing perspective or anything like that? Um, There's definitely a lot of space. You know, like you said, four shooters, you know, pretty much around me. Really, some guys you really can't help off of, uh, you know, you're giving up, you giving up three points. So, um, it's a lot of space. Obviously, um, you know, with me being back and still getting that chemistry, you know, with that lineup, you know, finding, you know, what works for us with that lineup, and um, pretty much, you know, just getting to the paint and you know, just making the right plays, um, which, you know, I normally do. So I feel like it's not, you know, too hard. But um, having those guys out there, you know, is definitely an advantage.